Good morning. Well, we spent a little time in here yesterday addressing the little fine night touches that I call my favorite thing to do, which is the floral arrangements for the carriage house. And every single rose is from our garden. And it is just incredible, the floribunda that is occurring due to the rains we've had. Just look at these old vines. Oh my goodness, it's, it's, almost, it's almost overwhelming. And it is overwhelming, but that's okay because nature has its way and we're just here to appreciate every single thing. And our little birds are coming regularly, nothing right now, but this is the view right here. A spectacular day looking out at Brave and Maiden and Janin Acres. Come over here, we have another floral arrangement. This is a beautiful, beautiful Picasso-esque vase that was given to me by my dear friend, Gail. I just love Gail. And um, she brought this to me. And of course, I've done a variety of roses. Here we have some of the heritage roses from David Austin, UK. And then again, what I call the Snow White Rose. I just love her. She's so beautiful. And then again, the cheapest rose in the world is the Ice Rose, it, the White Rose right there. But they're just so beautiful, all of them. I love them. We'll come over here. And of course, the orchids are flourishing, which is really nice. Um, I try so hard to keep them coming back. And you can do that if you keep them in a very cool spot in the house and just make sure they're getting enough water. That's the key, you know. And trimming back. I always do that. I trim back. Um, right about here, you can see... That may start a new uh, growth spurt. I'm not quite sure. Come over here to the little baker's table. And again, a Sally Home Rose in an eight, nine, late 19th century vase with a peacock. I found this at a treasured estate sale and I just loved it. It's all hand metal carved. And here's the beautiful face looking out. Here's another rose that I adore. And again, San Julian Ranch is an amazing place here, and they make their own honey, raw honey. And I took the jar, it was a gift from Carol Cologne, and uh, I just put a beautiful, everlasting rose. Come into the kitchen. Here's another little display, which I think is really fun, with the old antique Mexicano pottery, which I got and John Easterling gave me, and Olivia gave Jim and I these two mugs from, from actually Cusco, Peru. Looking up above, we see a beautiful antique plate, which is an Arabian, beautiful, beautiful head. Probably one of the most magnificent steeds of all the equestrian world. Jim found this watercolor painting, and I, I just think it's fantastic. It's just so sweet and, again, reminiscent of the early days of the West. Rugged individualism. Come over here. I'm sorry that I've had to put the salt in front of Frida Kahlo. Well, she's a rarity here, and this is a beautiful painting of her face a friend of mine had done. We come down to this charming little stove, which I adore. <laughs> Betty Crocker must have lived here at one time. I'm pretty sure she did. And here we are, what I say every day, gratefully blessed. And again, the garden roses. This is a collection of roses as well. We have the hybrid teas along with some of the magnificent, magnificent uh, English roses as well. And these are just charming. Hello. This is what we look at. And isn't she sweet? Oh my goodness. She reminds me of my grandmother again, Floribunda taking those hydrangeas in to make a decoration. Why not? So we're coming around here, and let's go into the master and see what we find there. This is really sweet, isn't it? You see a lot of these dogs in, uh, in our valley, and they're just great. They're, they're shepherding, herding dogs, the collie breed, of course, and um, they're just so sweet. And here's a wonderful rancher. I love this particular portrait. Again, I bought that at a treasured estates. And here we are, really in keeping with where you're standing. This is the carriage house, of course. And look at the carriages that at one point 
were probably stored inside this very structure. Peekaboo, what's going on inside here? Let's find out. So we redid the master suite, and I, I really think it's just so charming in here. And again, oh my goodness, this was something I could not resist buying. Shoe Fly is a famous Western artist. This was done in 1981. It's from the first federal collection of Sun City West. This artist I had met years ago when I was a host of a public affairs talk show at KNXT. And Shoe Fly, as he is known, is so famous. Everything you're looking at was done in pencil. 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 It looks as if it was a photograph. Again, the reminiscent history of the West and why San Inez Valley attracts so many people. Down here we have a beautiful portrait done by an artist that we got to know when we traveled to Canyon de Chez. His name is Justin So, and we went there on horseback and went to Mesa um, Camp down there, and it was just an incredible voyage by horse. And while we were out doing this, Justin, who is an artist, a relative of R.C. Gorman, who's a very famous Native American uh, um, artist as well, painted this beautiful Appaloosa and this wonderful Palomino. And of course, the spirit woman represents spirit rock, which if you ever travel to Chinle, Arizona, you will go in and see this amazing, amazing structure of geological formation known as the spirit. It is the spirit rock, and it is just an amazing experience. Coming in farther, we have something that belonged to my brother, John Gould. This is a wonderful, wonderful French boat. No, not French, it's Spanish. Jerez de la Frontera, Marques del Mierto Vinos y Cognac. This, I think, is from Spain, and it welcomes our guests in here. And let's take a look at the floral arrangements. Here's a little makeup table, and here's an abundance of the hybrid teas. The bright yellow rose of Texas. Always loved that particular brightness of that rose, and these beautiful other peach-colored roses. We look up here, and we see another wonderful, wonderful Native American piece of art done by Woody Crumbo, very famous artist in the Southwest. Again, this is Spirit Horse. We come over here to the beautiful bedding, and we see how nice it is. We see the floral arrangements over there. The peekaboo orchids, which have been kind of on their last legs, but are doing really well. And then down over here, the little butterfly stream, which welcomes our guests. And another nice, beautiful arrangement. This is the wood rose, as I call it. It doesn't change colors. It's almost the color of wood. Isn't it beautiful? These lamps were uh, purchased at a beautiful consignment store here in the valley. I just adore them. They're hand-painted. We'll come over here. And we'll take a look at what we see on the armoire. I love this. Just a collection of this is all of the colors in the carriage house garden against a wonderful motif of a Chinese armor warrior on his horse. And uh, this is a wonderful portrait uh, that I purchased at Sotheby's in New York many years ago. And the rabbit. It is the year of the rabbit and uh, fortune and good luck, of course. More importantly, great health. We come into our little bath and right here, oh yes, we have some of the more beautiful roses here to greet our guests and the little tub here and picking up on the motif here. And I love this too. There's a photographer here in San Inez and you can visit him on Mission Street and he sells these little cards and they're really beautiful and they're signed and these are all his original works. So let's come back in here, see what else we have. A few French posters in here as well. And um, I love this piece here. I found this locally. It's a, um, it's gold leaf painted actually. And it's the birds of course, and the lotus flower. 
and it's just very, very, very calming. This little piece over here, believe it or not, is very, very old, and guests ask me about it all the time. I particularly like it because it shows, again, the Southwest and the journey that so many people took on horseback. And if you're a fan of 1883 and 1923, as Jim and I are, you don't want to miss those two shows. They're really, really ebullient, beautifully produced, incredible cinematography. Here's where guests really come into the nature of why they're in the carriage house. We have an array of wonderful books, and I always find the books everywhere after a guest has taken time to, to relax and read. There, there's no television in here. This is all about just restoration of the self and the soul. And uh, we just really love the fact that people take the time to read the books. I have a lot of books on dogs and ecology and green living and beautiful books on art, which are here as well. All of the masters, you can spend all your time just reminiscing. And then we come out here and, um, oh goodness, it's just a beautiful day. But what's going on in the garden? Let's find out. Let's see if I can open this door. Okay, so in case you're wanting to smell the roses, this is one great way. <laughs> These are really beautiful Cecil Bruners. I think I've shown them to you before. And you can just sit here and overlook the view, which is just magnificent. You can't miss the view. You have to be in the view. You are in the view. And the chateau is so reminiscent of Van Gogh's painting in Arl which is that of a chateau and a beautiful, sprawling, uh, natural um, oak tree, which you can see there. When we come into the garden, we see things that are happening all the time here in the garden. We see the roses along the bearded ivy that surrounds the beautiful carriage house, the white arbor from New England Arbor. What a wonderful way to enter the master garden here these beautiful pots were my brothers and of course the sundial we found recently and lo locally and this isn't done yet but we're in the process of finishing that garden if you come around here oh here comes one of our starlings and we have some beautiful roses against this wonderful carriage house and we look into the master garden on the uh, east side and there she is the queen of wisteria set in a masterfully planted garden and if you don't mind me bragging I can say that I designed it myself. So have a wonderful day and I hope one of these days you'll come and visit us.